join us here at the SMTV election fiasco special, where after a week of shilly-shallying and fannying around, the votes are in for which way up toilet paper on a roll should go, underhang or overhang. The returning officer, Kat Dealey, is about to announce the results. Um, attention please, oh, attention please everyone, after the biggest ever turnout for an SMTV election, I can now announce the results. Declan Donnelly. Underhang. One vote. <laughs> Anthony McPartland. Overhang. Two votes. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, thank sir. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. Thank you, my loyal followers and supporters. Thanks a lot. And I can assure you, from now on, all the toilet rolls put in the SMTV box on the whole list will be left there with the long bits overhanging. Yeah. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Thank you. Hold on, we forgot Kirsty's vote. And she voted for death. <laughs> so, so that means uh, yeah, that means I've got ten votes, doesn't it? No, no, it's another three to me, isn't it? No, it means carry one over, divide by seven, multiply by five. No, I multiply by six, isn't it? No, multiply by four. Eh? Oh, I wish we hadn't learnt our maths in America. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. We just wipe our bums on our pants. Yeah! yeah! Billy Piper's here to perform her brand new single, Walk of Life. Holly Oaks, Hunks, Ben and Luke are with us all morning to answer your email questions and queries. Find out Ash's latest adventures in Pokemon. S Club 7 are live in the studio all morning. From Sabrina the Teenage Witch, Aunt Hilda, actress Caroline Rea is going to be live right here in the SMTV studio. Yeah, look impressed. And there's another premiere episode of Sabrina the Teenage Witch to follow. So let's hope Caroline doesn't spoil it and tell us the plot. Last week, mine and Dex's girlfriend surprised us and we lost, having to take them on a skiing holiday. But everything turned out all right, because we dumped them after the show. Oh, that's not true. Stop trying to look cool in front of your mates. Oh, challenge Ant's back to normal this week. There's another classic episode of Chums coming up. And the three-footed superstar Wonky Donkey is here. Did you know it has to rhyme? I'm Kylie Minogue, Destiny's Child, and an exclusive interview with Noel Gallagher makes CDUK more fun than thinking it's clever to say on national television the word of oh, mm, What a brilliant show! What a great show! Brilliant show! It's a great, great show! In fact, this show is so full, it's fuller than a hungry puppy who's found a buy one, get one free offer on dog food at its local supermarket. Aww. I'd say it's fuller than that. I'd say it's fuller than a very good child's Christmas stocking full on Christmas morning. Oh. Everybody! Oh. I'd say it's fuller than that though. What? I'd say it's fuller than a giant hunky when he's got the flu. Oh. Oh. Fuller than a baby hippo's nappy with oh, the same Oh, stop it, you're spoiling sake. me! I hate foul analogies first thing in the morning. Don't you? Cat, tell us about the Saturday morning squad. <laughs> well, the Saturday morning squad, they're here this morning, but let's see if they can do the catchy SMTV let's way. See yeah. Let's, let's see ya. Not bad. Hey, hey. The cat. Uh, don't forget this morning, we've got some great guests this morning. We've got S Club 7 in the studio this morning. We've got Benny with the Molly this morning. And we've got Anne Hilda from Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Yeah. Right here. Email us studio at smtvlive.co.uk or you can contact us via our website, which is www.citv.co.uk. Just to click on post back or fax us. Oh no, oh, 737 839. That's ho 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 207. <laughs> um, how would you like to ring the win? <laughs> Let me tell you what we've got for this morning. SMTV has one pair of tickets for the WWF Rebellion Ooh. event in Sheffield next Saturday, December the 2nd. Now then, if you're the lucky winner, we'll be taking you and a friend to Sheffield where you'll stay in a top hotel, you'll see some top wrestling action, and get a games console, wrestling game, a signed book, and a VHS. That Ooh. can be yours. You don't have to do anything. All you've got to do is ring in with the answer to this question. The question is, who were the stars of last week's uh, Chums the Movie? Was it the cast of A, Cold Feet, B, Sweaty Feet, or C, Smelly Feet? If you think you know the answer, give us a call. 9013801801. Calls should cost you no more than 25 pence, but please do get permission. All those prizes could be yours. So all they've got to do is just ring and they win. Just ring, ring, it's as simple as that. Brilliant. I've just got it. Genius. After these weeks. Excellent. Genius. Here now, though, with a brand new single, Walk of Life, it's Billy Piper! Here's 
Pokemon in true SMTV style in our wicked SMTV Pokemon Jumpers, right, gang? No. What? No. No, ah! no Declan. No. We're sick of it. We've had an open ear with the poker jumpers and the poker raft and your stupid buzz, buzz, buzz and your wasp for eyes and your business Pokemon ventures and the camera that hits me in the head. This is the last of it. The last one. Finish. Kaput. We hate them. I hate them and we hate you. That's right. We hate you, Declan. We face our final poker curtain. He's just excited, that's all. <laughs> Come on, you know you love it when we get going. Go on, right, Dan, what are you feeling this week, cheerleaders? Yeah. Then why don't we just hit it? Woohoo! Oh. Oh. <laughs> I do, I do. Welcome back to SMTV Live, where it's time to delve into your letters. And the SMTV post back. Oh, 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 Well done. <laughs> Very well done, boys. Why'd you have to drop your script? Is that your it's script? It's the cunning plan! It would be terrible if we all got kicked out of the water, wouldn't no. it? No! <laughs> I'm making it all up anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, time has you said to delve into your letters. Thanks for all of your letters. Please do keep them coming in. We love your letters. That one. Keeps us going during the week. We've got this one here from Ophelia and Melina Kane from Ooh. Surrey. Thanks very much for, for your letter. She says, Dear Aunt Dead and Cat, I love the show, and I've been wanting to give you all something for all your hard work. Aww. And she sent us all a bit of jewellery each. We've all got a ring. It's nice of her. Oh, but I'm nice. slightly alarmed. Diamonds? At the size of my ring. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. What size fingers do you think I've got, Ophelia? Big old sausage fingers. <laughs> but it's the thought that counts. Thank you very much. The size of that. Great stuff. It is. Oh, dear. Sorry, I'm just kind of Anyway, I've stuff. got a letter here, and it's from Fiona J. Brown from Northumberland, and she says... Lovely part of the world, that mine. She has a North donkey. Thumbland. It's lovely. Very green. Is it? Yeah. Mm. It actually does look quite green. It is. Uh, she has a donkey called Ruffles, who's more than 30 <laughs> years old. You'd name your donkey Ruffles, wouldn't you? Of course you would. And he's affectionately known by his mates, Dan the Pub, as Wonky, because, take a look at this, he is... The original Wonky three Donkey. Legs. No, that's three legs. Three legs. He's only got three legs. And he's only got three legs. He's only got three yeah, legs. Yeah, yeah. Three legs. legs. No, but he's that doesn't matter because he was going to star in a film. He had the opportunity a few years ago to star in a film that was being made locally, but seeing as he's never been away from home in over 25 years, we decided against oh, him. He well, couldn't, take, he couldn't he, take the buzz of the show. He was going to star in a film, but because he hasn't film. been away from home, mm. he's decided not to put him in a film. Yeah. I think that's rather rash. <laughs> Don't you? <laughs> Give the guy a break. <clears throat> oh, no. A break, a he's, a, he's 30, slightly infirm, three legs. Wouldn't stand a chance in the hum, in the buzz of Shabby's life. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're like Rob as he would. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for all the Please do keep them, as a, uh, keep them coming in, as I said. But that was part of the show that Ant fans waited all week for. I'm looking forward to it. Hi, Ant fans! Yes, indeed, it's, uh, it's Ant's song when he performs it. Your song, it's yours, the viewers. So, so what's, the, what's the vibe, Ant? Well, this week's song has been sent in by... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> by um, Jamie from Aberdeen. Uh, I forgot your second name because it's in my script and it's fell, fell a bit. Bathgate. Bathgate, that's well it. Done. Jamie Bathgate from Aberdeen. And, and you know, like these days, it's quite trendy. I mean, it's, it's in. It's in. For um, bands to do collaborations mm. with other bands. Well, right. like, you know, like you have somebody featuring somebody. Wyclef featuring Mary J. Blige. Yeah, along those lines. Yeah. Right, okay. So that's what we've Very got. strong, very directional it's, idea. The song sounds very uh, Bee Gees. <laughs> yeah, Bee Gees. And, uh, and it's got a rap in it. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, yeah. you know, it springs to mind. Pull a name out of there. The Bee Gees featuring Eminem. <laughs> Because that would happen, wouldn't it? Yeah, it could. Well, you, no. Highly likely. No, and as ever, Dick, there's a part in it for you, my friend. Hi there, Dick. Stop it. And. Yes. It's part for you, too. Is that? Yes, 
<laughs> if you can, uh, if you can do us a nice big introduction, please, Kat. Well, I I'm will. gonna get changed. Sure. Okay? Yeah. Well, Ant's off to get no changed. No peeking Ant fans. No peeking deck fans. Shut up. Uh, if you want to send anything here into SMTV Live, then please do. You send it to SMTV Live, PO Box double two one double two, London SE one nine GL, or you can email us at studio at smtvlive.co.uk. No. Or you can visit our website on www.citv.co.uk. Just, <laughs> just click on face back, or you can fax us on 0207-737-8393. But right now, I no, think I've filled up. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay, so um, we're going to do Ant's song. Um, it's going to be the Bee Gees and Eminem, an unlikely collaboration. Oh, but here at SMTV Live, oh, I'm not here. dreams do come true, as you'll see right now. <laughs> you hairy yeti. <laughs> And uh, there's one member of the Bee Gees that <laughs> one member of the Bee Gees that isn't here, and that's Lauren. <laughs> oh, here we go. 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 Here The Bee Gees. <laughs> the Bee Gees meet Eminem. Why don't we just? up on a Saturday and want to see top class entertainment a treat for your eyes what kind new surprise if you want to keep your cool then don't you miss it and be a fool never ever ever diss it SMTV rocks it beats them all it's even better than your super duper master boy stand up the beach Hello there, welcome to Dex Says. This is the part of the show where I take you through exciting episodes in my life so that you may learn from them, learn from my wisdom. As the old saying goes, a wise man can pass through the eye of a camel but a daft man is worth two in the bush. <laughs> and, and why do I do what I hear you cry? Why do I do it? I'll tell you why. Because I'm a saint. <laughs> the emails have been flooding in this morning. Thanks very much, Adolf. This is from Ellie Collier from Norwich. Says, Dear Dex says, My friend is in hospital and I'm going to visit her tonight to cheer her up. Being a good laugh in that, can you advise me how this would best be done? Well, of course I can, Ellie. Whenever anybody was in hospital that I knew, uh, they soon got better. They soon got better when they knew I was coming to visit. Sometimes they'd be gone before I even got there. 
I had such a healing effect on people with my brilliant wit and, and me healing hands and me funny jokes. You see, I remember one time, my friend was poorly and I, and I, was, go, I was going to visit her. I, I just went oh. down to the hospital. Yes, kiddies, Dex talking again. So it's a good time to go and get yourself that second bag of crisps you've been thinking about all morning. He must have done this stupid Dex says a million times now, and little does he know its full title is Who Cares What Dex Says? Whenever he went visiting people in hospital, there was a widespread epidemic of boredom. Not to mention an outbreak of petty thefts. Yes, the way really was, was a very different story. All right, cat. Right. You should be fine. It's just a simple ingrowing tooth operation you'll need. Um, you should be out of here tomorrow. Let me just... Thanks, yes. nurse. We're just a bit worried about a little girl. You know, we don't have hospitals in Birmingham. <laughs> Sorry, where? Birmingham! Right, well, what do you have instead of hospitals, then? <laughs> Witches. Yeah, but, but they don't do ingrown tooth operations. <laughs> right, well, I'm just going to go and see if the operating theatre's scrubbed up and witch free. <laughs> we have to go now, Sister Cat, as we have to catch our bus and they won't let us on after dark. Okay. <laughs> I'm so alone. <laughs> I'm so afraid. <laughs> I'm so ugly. <laughs> ugly. Like a big daft dog cat. Like a big daft dog cat. <laughs> Oh, Declan, that wasn't funny, you frightened me. Ah, uh, what, with a mug like yours? You must be used to unpleasant shocks. Oh. <laughs> Actually, Declan, I'm very flattered that you've taken the time to come and see me. <laughs> Why have you come to visit Hey, me? hey, hey, don't get any stupid ideas, right? I was just, uh, I was just passing on her. Eh? I, didn't, I didn't mean to come in and see you, cat the dog. Uh, yeah, I was just leaving it at that, right? I was just passing. Didn't miss you. I'm not missing you one tiny bit, right? Right? Yeah, brought you some grapes. <gasps> oh, wow! I love... <laughs> Stalks. Oh, I got, got hungry on the way here. <laughs> right, cat the dog. Listen, I'm going to bust you out of here. <gasps> tie this piece of string, right, round yeah. your gammy tooth, right? And I'll tie the other end to the ward door, you see? Right, put this on here, eh? And then... I slam the ward door shut, yeah. and that'll rip out your tooth, and then you come, come back home with me. Not that I've been missing you or nothing, not like that, right? <laughs> but there, uh, it won't hurt, will it? Only if I slam my fingers in the door. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> oh. I made an old man man, you did to do that to the door. Dear me. Dear me, that's terrible. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Seeing the moving into another room after the operation. Oh, that's brilliant. I hate this wood, I really do. Where am I going? Somewhere called the morgue. Oh, Declan, stop it. I'm an ill girl. Ugly and ugly ill girl. Anyway, bah, only small talk from now on. It's hospital rules. What do you mean? No, oh, thick old cat. Hospital rules, innit? Whenever you visit anybody in hospital, you know, you've got to sit there in an easy silence, haven't you, making pointless small talk. It's the law. Yeah? I've just had a poo. <laughs> oh, God, this is boring. Can't you liven things up, cut the dog, and just die or something? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. 
What's in here? What? Oh! Look at it! No! 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 Declan! No! Declan! That's mine! Declan! Declan! Oh, that's lovely, that mine, eh? No! You see, athletic people like me, I shouldn't be in here, cousin. Declan! Declan, no! It's, it's, my, it's mine! I drink this kind of stuff to get in the zone, you see. No! I shouldn't be in hospital with germs and stuff like me, cat the dog. Dick! I'm a man! I'm a man! Oh, I tell you. Declan, don't! Declan! Declan, that's mine! I'm an athletic man! Declan! I should be posing for statues out of magazines. Oh! That's how fit I am! Declan, for goodness sake! <laughs> Put that down! Oh dear! It's a bit, uh, a bit tepid, mate. <laughs> oh dear. Still no urine sample, eh? Well, keep, keep trying, old girl. <laughs> what? I tried to warn you, Declan! I tried to... And if you believe anything Deck has to say these days, you'll realise he's still taking the you-know-what. He was all right after that, unfortunately. They were going to keep him in for observation, but none of the nurses could stand the sight of him, so they sent him to the nearest vet. He was put in a kennel with a sick skunk and a poorly pig. The smell must have been horrid. Still, the animals probably got used to it. If only they knew the truth. If only! And then it came to pass. That people actually deliberately started hurting themselves just so they could go in the hospital and get a visit from me. So I got a little bit of wind. The rumor goes. <laughs> the rumor goes. The rumor goes that people, act, nurse recruitment figures, actually shoot up whenever people know that I'm going to visit in hospitals. That's because my name will forever be linked with hospitals. Because I'm a healer. Because I make people sick. Oh, shut up. Really, just shut up. You haven't got a clue, have you? <laughs> That's it for Dex Says this week. If you've got a problem and think I can help, send it in to the usual address. And if you've got any relatives in hospital, any sick relatives that think, you know, could do with a visit from me, then please do get in touch. £600 for 10 minutes, and it's a grant to talk to them. That's it for Dex Says. Uh, we'll see you after this break. I'm missing you already. It's a very special welcome now to a lady who is a living legend here on SMTV Live, although she's never been down to the SMTV Live studio. Please give it up for, from Sabrina the Teenage Witch and Hilda, actress Caroline Ray! Come on and sit down. Thank you. You're so funny. Oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> we like that. I'm so glad those aren't your real teeth. <laughs> Listen, you're on holiday over here in England. I am. Moment. Thanks for taking time out to come and. Look at your eyelashes. Sorry to be mesmerized. Look at them. <laughs> oh, oh don't don't them. Louis, Stop where can this magic again? Don't, don't you dare mention that. I'm sorry. About oh, that. please mention no, it. No, what happened? We there. Listen. Forget my eyelashes. We've got loads of loads of aliens fighting. Okay. Can we dive straight in? All right. Absolutely. Okay, if you don't mind. <laughs> uh, I've got one here uh, from Carla Blackburn. It says, uh, how did you get the part in Sabrina the Teenage Witch and are they going to bring Sabrina mm. the Teenage Witch video out? Are they going to bring it, the, the video out? they going to bring a video out of it? I don't think they're going to bring a video out. I don't know. How did I get the part? Well, yeah. um, I'd just been dumped by a boyfriend in New York and I was oh. really, I know, it's very sad, very oh. sad. Oh, dear. It's okay. He's sorry now. Oh. And um, <laughs> I'm sorry now. He's unemployed. <laughs> and you can do magic. And I get to talk about him on evil TV. Evil streaks of evil voodoo. Oh, yes, absolutely. No, they said, do you want to do this part? Um, you get to fly around on a vacuum cleaner, and you get to imprison a man in your ring for not loving you. And I'm like, where do I sign? <laughs> and, uh, that's what I've been doing. Excellent. Well, this one kind of follows on from here. It's um, from Caroline. Um, sorry, to, uh, from Alex to Ch from Chester. And he says, have any of the special magic effects ever gone wrong? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, did they? Remember um, uh, Libby? Yeah. 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 Well, the special effects guy set her pants on fire. No. <laughs> <laughs> hang on, hang on. A 
are we talking American pants or English, English pants? Because oh, it makes a difference. All oh, right, I got it. I got the picture. Okay. okay. Um, I like the eyelashes. That was it. Okay. Really are. Um, <laughs> no, uh, what do you call these? Trousers? Yeah, yeah, trousers. Yeah, he set her trousers on fire. All oh, right, so that's a little bit better then. Was See, she the thing hurt is, or anything? Was pardon she, me? Was, was she, she hurt? She okay? No, her pants melted. It was right. embarrassing. <laughs> um, <laughs> when you... I was the pyromaniac witch at uh -huh. the beginning, so I would always... When I did a spell, then I knew that, like, a big explosion was going to go off in, in special effects. But Zelda, my sister, made so much fun of me because I was so terrified of the guy, the special effects guy. <laughs> who, um, I don't know if that means the same thing here. Yeah. Anyway, um, he, every time, you're like, class. We love you. Anyway, every time I would point, I knew there was going to be a big explosion. Yeah. So whenever I would do a spell, I'd be like this. <laughs> and then there would be smoke on the screen, but we got it better. Now I, I don't have fire powers anymore. Oh. Oh. Uh, Kevin Francis from Shropshire wants to know, if you were a witch in real life, would you choose to be a good witch or a wicked witch? If I were a witch, you're yeah. assuming that I'm not a witch, which I is very kind. Yeah, okay. I am All right, that's a good assumption. Um, if I were a good, um, well, I'd be a bad witch. Who wants to be a good witch? Absolutely. Would you do? Be a really rotten witch. You wouldn't, witch. Witch. Witch you wouldn't be evil, would you? Just be no, no, I wouldn't be evil, but I'd make the occasional model trip, sure. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd, <laughs> I'd give Cat a bad hair day every now and then. You don't need spells for that. No. Really. <laughs> Bluey. Um, <laughs> Why are you bringing it up again? Oh, don't you start, don't you start. I think we'd better leave it there, everybody. Uh, Please come have a big round of applause. I want to know what Bluey is. No, I would <laughs> 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 get it. <laughs> big round of applause, everybody. Caroline Ray! <laughs> Caroline, how are you out there? Play the ring to win. Well, you should do because we got a great prize this morning. This coming Tuesday sees Madonna play her first UK ah. concert for seven years, and you can watch it via one of the world's biggest ever free live webcasts at msm.co.uk forward slash Madonna. Uh, or alternatively, at nine o'clock, you could be there. Ah. Yes, you could go to the gig. Oh, oh my goodness. Green friend. We'll put you up in a hotel. Uh, you can go and see the goddess of pop herself. All you've got to do is answer this question. The question is, who appears in Madonna's music videos? Are they Ali G, B, Gina G, or C, Fred G? Phone us, 09013-8181, coach costs no more than 25 pence, but please, 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 get permission and you could be gone. Excellent stuff. Now then, Caroline, do I get to do it now? We would be we'll very be grateful we'll if you would honored. do us the great honour of introducing the next item without pyrotechnics. <laughs> okay. Mm, okay. Here's another, oops, I'm starting again. Okay. Here's okay. another premiere episode of Sabrina the Teenage Witch. <laughs> Sabrina the witch, the witch, the witch. Did you just make that up? <laughs> just made that up. Christmas number one. Off the top of my head. Now then, this Christmas sees the release of one of the most exciting films of the year. It's called The Grinch. And it's starring Jim Carrey, isn't it? Yes, it is. So we've got a little sneak preview. No, it's just because you're the front of knowledge on this, remember? Because what did Jim say about it? So it was like being buried alive wearing that costume. Wearing that costume. Um, take a look at this. This is the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Almost lost my cool there. It looks great. It looks great. Now, by that man, who wants to give a walkie donkey? Whoa! Walkie donkey! Right you know, there. Now, walk you down I, let me, I was going to walk you down here and then it. No, no, I, wasn't. no I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. I was doing it inside. <laughs> let me tell you about this morning's Wonky Donkey Prize. SMTV <laughs> can exclusively offer the winner of today's Wonky Donkey, plus mum and dad and three friends, an amazing sleepover in the world famous toy store Hamleys. <gasps> That's brilliant. Oh, wow. That is 
Let me, let me tell you about it. You'll be able to play with all the toys in the store. You'll have Santa read your bedtime story. Aww. Plus, we've thrown a £100 voucher that you can spend on whatever you like. Not just that, but the next day, you have a private screening of The Grinch. Yeah. Oh, oh my Christ. goodness! All you've got to do is play what you don't need to qualify answer this question. Where were the last week's MTV Europe Music Awards held? Was it A, Stockholm, B, the Stock Cube, or C, the Stock Exchange? If you think you know the answer, give us a call. 09013 8181. Caution costs you no more than 25 pence, but please do get permission before you call. That's all coming up later Great on the show. Price. Don't you dare go away. We'll see you after the break. <laughs> Welcome once again to Challenge Ant. You know the rules, I'm not going to go through them. If you don't know the rules, do try and keep up. Here he is, it's Ant McFarlane. Yeah. All right. Hello Ant, how are you doing this week? Uh, it, well, uh, good. Good, good, yes. good. Challenge Ant back to normal this week. No surprises. No silly surprises. You sure? No oh, skiing and trips. You <laughs> better not be. Do you want to see who you're up against today? I'd love to. It's 10-year-old Winnie Amissa! <laughs> Hi Winnie, welcome to the challenge. Jan, how are you feeling? Fine. Nervous? A bit. Don't be. And I, that's an order. <laughs> Enjoy. Are you going to beat him this morning? Hopefully. Yeah? Do you think you can do it? Yeah. You've got some good questions there, haven't you? Yeah, she's well prepared. And you're 3-2 down in the series. Mm. This to pull it back equal. Don't want them to start stretching that lead, do certainly we? Certainly don't, certainly don't. What about the old earpiece for Okay, three? my man. Good luck to you, Ant. Good luck to you, Winnie. <laughs> Let's play today's edition of Challenge Ant. <laughs> Question number one this morning is for the number 10 game, Frogger 2, Swanky's Revenge. What is Mr. Burns' first name in The Simpsons? Um, uh, Montgomery. <laughs> hey! One up, one straight away. Thought you weren't going to get that there. Bit of eh? a stutter. Bit of a stutter. Question number two for the number nine game. Chicken run. What is the name of Eminem's daughter? Um, Holly. Uh, one one. Close. Is it Haley. 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 Haley's girl. Tracy. That's right. December the 25th, 1995, she was born. Happy birthday for Christmas Day, Haley. Question number three, the number eight game, Toy Story 2. Buzz Lightyear to the rescue. <laughs> what do you call a female swan? Um, oh, a signet. No. Two one. I didn't know this, a pen. Eh? Apparently. As if it is a signet, a female goose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's a baby. Baby, baby. Okay. Baby, baby. Question number four for the number seven game. Disney's dinosaur. How many years has Blind Date been on telly? Ooh. <laughs> 14 years. Oh, oh. 15. Oh. Yeah, close. Oh. Silla's been, Silla's been playing Cupid since 1985. Question number five for the number six game. Action Man, Destruction X. How many points is letter K worth in Scrabble? What? <laughs> Eight. Uh, Four. Five. Five. <sighs> Wouldn't have got that. Question number six for the number when five game. Ever played Scrabble? Spyro, Year of the Dragon. How do you say please in German? Um, um, oh, oh man! You know, you know. <laughs> She's tearing you apart. She is. Please, in German. I'm going to kick myself. Say it. Bitter. I've done German in school as well. I know you How did. bad is that? Who was your German teacher? Eh? Who was your German teacher? Mr. Lamb. Well done, Mr. Lamb. Star pupil. <laughs> <laughs> Question number seven for the number four game. <clears throat> Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. How many chance squares are there on a Monopoly board? Chance. What? Chance squares on a Monopoly board. How many? Four. One. Three. There's three. I've Six. been so close to everyone. You have? Yeah. This is I'm still losing. Yeah. Uh, this is a great game. Quest it's question number eight for the number three game, and it's this Alex Ferguson's player manager 2001, and you get a signed football as well Woo! by Alex Ferguson. Woo! Do you like football? 
Not exactly. Can I have the ball? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next question, please, Willie. <laughs> In which city is Brookside set? Liverpool. Yes, give it a minute anyway. <laughs> What's that? Six, keep six Ooh, two. Keep six two. Question oh, number oh, nine oh. for the number two game. Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> How many, now that's what I call music albums, have there been? Oh. 45. <laughs> 7-2! 47. Oh, shut up now! <laughs> Question number 10 for the number one game in the SMTV chart today. It's FIFA 2001. Who played Cruella de Vil in the live-action version of 101 Dimensions? Glenn Close. Correct! Yes! Mm -hmm. Seven points! Oh, was Glenn Close. She'd be playing Come that part again. Win the points! In uh, 102 Dimensions. Mm. Indeed. Uh, give her a big hand. She's walking away with seven, everybody. <laughs> Now, Winnie, seven games there, you can, you can have them, you can keep them, or you can gamble them for today's star prize. Let me tell you what it is. It's this ace state-of-the-art games console. <laughs> I, just, I just removed the fluff from if the you, If you gamble those seven and then get your killer question wrong, you'll walk away with the other three and that. If you get the question right, I'll take them off you and I'll offer all ten and the star prize to the viewers. Winnie, what do you want to do? Get on! Get on! But it's your decision. There's a lot of prizes. There's a lot of games there. It's up to you. It's up to you. Shut up! What do you want to do, Winnie? Mm, I'm going to gamble. She's going to gamble! She's going to gamble! Kill question! Very, very tense moment here in the SMTV studio. Winnie has won seven of the ten. She's decided to gamble them for the star prize. Good luck, Winnie. I hope it was the right thing to do. Good luck to you. Want this to go all square in the series. Can we have today's? Kill a question, please. In the sounds of music, how many Von Trapp children are there? Six. How many was there? there? There were seven. Oh, so close again! Again! I was going to say seven. Close, but no cigar. <laughs> That's it for Challenge Act this week. There'll be more next week. We'll see you uh, after this break. <laughs> Two more of our guests is Gary, Lucy, and Marcus Patrick from Hollywood. Good morning. And this morning, morning they've, they've brought ten of these calendars to give away. They've been signed, and it's for ten. It's ten Hollyoaks hunks calendars Woo! to give away. So they haven't got any shirts on. <laughs> I don't believe it. So what? What was the whole idea behind this then, boys? Um, what was the inspiration? Um, wow, there wasn't really much, was it? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It's, it's, um, we filmed it in Wales right. and it was freezing cold, as you can probably see with the old um, nips. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was interesting. I bet it was. At least. Yeah? A tough shoot to do. Well, what we'll do is we're going to give 10 of these away to you guys. They've all been signed and you can win them very, very easily simply by answering this simple question, which is, uh, what characters does Gary Lucy play in Hollyoaks? Is it A, Sol Patrick, B, Lewis Richardson, or C, Luke Morgan? If you think you know the answer, give us a call. 09013 Of course, it costs no more than 25p, but you must get permission before you call. Listen, uh, stick around. We'll have lots of fun. We're so bad for time. We're going to have to uh, go into Sabrina now. But uh, it's been great having you on. See you later. But now, here's the second part of Sabrina, the Teenage Witch. <laughs> Previously on Chums. Oh, God, I'm lady. No, no, seriously. Girls, good girl. Damn it! Help us! Oh yes! Help, help. I like it! Give me more! Give me more fear, baby! Give me more! I thought that's good. <laughs> no, Jack! Jack! No! Help! 
Was Anne drafted back into the Girl Guides? Did me and Deck ever finish our film, Chums the Movie? Did John Thompson manage to get inside the real Ant? Find out now as we return you to the nation's favourite sitcom, Chums! Chums has filmed before anybody can stop us. Oh, 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 what have I done? What have I done? The shame of what I've just done. Oh, I'm just glad. Deck and Cat aren't here to see this. See, see what, what Anne? Ah, what are you doing here? Ah. We live here, remember? Honestly, you looked as shocked and confused as a Welshman who's woken up in a good mood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, too true. Hey, Hans, I'm uh, glad we've caught you. Caught us? No, you haven't caught us. I haven't been doing anything. And there's nothing behind the sofa, so you can keep your libelous allegations to yourself. No, all I mean is me and Kat are really glad you managed to escape from the girl guides. Disguising yourself as a hot air balloon and tunneling out on a, hot, on, on a motorbike, that was really clever. Oh, yeah, honestly, Ant, you must be so happy. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm really happy, Kat! Oh, oh. Bless him. Oh. Right? Oh. I'm just off to the kitchen to get, to get a, a large sack to remove something large and cumbersome from behind the sofa. While I'm gone, you must not, under any circumstances, look behind the sofa. In fact, Totally ignore the behind the sofa mystery. <laughs> the behind the sofa mystery sounds very, very boring. <laughs> I'm more interested in what's going on in front of the sofa, if you know what I mean, Kat. Oh, you little tinker! Yeah? Oh, what? When well, we're all alone in the flat, aren't we, eh? Where, yeah? Oh, yeah! Yeah, we are. Just the three of us. What? No, I mean, I mean two, don't I? Just the two of us. Mm. Don't know where that came from. Who cares? Okay, me and Kat, all alone in the flat with a dead body. What? I don't know why I said that. Me and Kat, all alone in the flat. I think I'm going to kiss her. My teeth are clean for your inspection. Give my mouth a tongue injection. <laughs> Classy bird. Classy bird. <laughs> nice. Come on, baby. <laughs> You're going the other way to normal. I'm sorry, <laughs> you little monkey. <laughs> Lips nearly touching. <laughs> oh! A stiff! Oh, where? Where, 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 where? <laughs> A dead body behind the sofa! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I've killed somebody! Cut, you've got to go and have a look before he gets back. No way! There's no way I'm looking! No way! You go, you go and look! Women, eh? Scared of spiders and corpses. I'll have a look. <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, tell me. Who is it? And then I couldn't see there was a little spider on there. Oh, Declan! gonna get murdered you ninnies no you see the shameful thing I've done is <laughs> this <laughs> I've been practicing kissing with this shop dummy <laughs> yes I know it's sad it's sad but I'm all alone aren't I eh? and I would ask you for help and, and understand <laughs> I think you beat your killer with less sinister than that. I, I bet he thinks a Barbie doll factory's like a date. Exactly! Yeah, yeah. All right, well, I'll just kill you instead. No, come here, come on, come on. We're only winding you up. Come yes. on. We're chums, we aren't we? We'll get through this together. We'll be there for you. Oh, how sad am I hiring the services of a shop dummy? Oh, why can't love just walk right through the door for me? Just, just once. Huh? It's Hannah from Eskimo City. Yeah. I'm uh, from the Billy, sorry, that's okay. I'm from the Billy No Mates Agency. I've actually come to collect the uh, snogging practice dummy. Um, what is it? A rippling ruby red lip? Yes. This oh, is she. The one. She's there you go. darling. Right. Thank you. Bye bye, Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. I can't even, oh. even keep a plastic woman, man. <laughs> oh. I'm such a loser in love. Oh, don't talk about love. Um, I haven't even got anything in common with anybody. Well, you've got that in common with me because I haven't got anything in common with anybody. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I wish I had a girlfriend. Oh, oh. me too. Really? Well, actually, you know what? Come here, Hannah. I've, I've, I've never, I've never I actually told I, I, anybody. I, 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 I mean, a boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, that's what yeah. I meant too, and I've already got one. Pat, look at what we've got here, eh? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anna needs a girlfriend. Yes. Hannah needs a boyfriend. Uh huh. <laughs> it's obvious. Oh, yeah, it is. It's obvious. Yeah. It's glaringly, 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 glaringly mm. obvious. We get Ant off with Hannah. Oh, yeah, even better. Well, Hannah, thanks for picking her up. Uh, I suppose was you best be off, eh? Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, I suppose so. I've got a half day today, so I'm going to go back and um, watch a video. I bought it today. It's called um, Honest. It's by the, um, featuring All Saints. I was actually one of the only two people who went to see that. Yeah, me too. I loved it. Did you? <laughs> see you later. No, 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 no. Hannah, Hannah, don't yeah. go. Come here, come here. You know what we can do? We can go to my bedroom, right? Yes. And give each other a girly makeover. <gasps> oh, that would be great. <laughs> then you might actually notice me. <laughs> um. <laughs> we can do that as well. Come on, let's okay. just go. <laughs> and can I ask you three questions, please? Hi. One, do you find Hannah attractive? Oh, yes. Yes, I do. Very much so. <laughs> Two, are you thick? Oh, yes. Yes, I am. Very much so. And three, Oh, oh, what was that for? Do you have some sense in here, you big stupid divvy head? Do you not see? Hannah, she's attractive and lonely. You're lonely. <laughs> Ask her out, man. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, I never thought of that, did I? What me mean, Hannah? Yeah. What, what a good idea. All right, right, I'll do it. I'll do it. OK, but uh, I, I'm going to need some advice. Some, some advice from, from a beer magnet. That's what I'm here for. I, I need some wisdom from, from a fine seducer of ladies. I'm on the case. I need some love tips from a long god. That's my name. Don't wear it out. Hello, is that Hollyoaks hog Marcus Patrick? Huh? Hey, clown. <laughs> What's going down in love town, boy? <laughs> oh, how are you? There, Marcus. Listen, I'm really glad you're there. You see, you see, there's this girl who I want to get off with, but I need some tips. Right, well, you come to the right place, pilgrim. <laughs> what I don't know about women, women don't know about women, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, excuse me, Mr. Extinct Disco Man, but we don't need your outdated sexist claptrap around here, thank you very much. Women today are far too intelligent to fall for your outmoded chat up lines. Okay. Did I also mention that I can cure snog interruptions? Really? Right. Carry on. What do we do? Right, okay. You gotta get real close to the lady and you look her in the eye. Right, well, like, like this, like this. I think so. And uh, then you wiggle your eyebrows, yeah? And then you pout your lips to turn her on. Mm. Right, right, right. Okay. Now say something sexy to the lady. Mm, mm, Hannah's nearly mm, done. You smell lovely. Mm, mm, you smell. You smell nicer than a lovely Indian takeaway. Oh, yeah. mm. You're so sexy, like a really mm -hmm. smart spaceship. Mm, 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 okay, I never mm, saw that. Mm, yeah. mm. You've got it wrong. You've got it wrong. You've got it wrong. I mean, that we're just practicing sexy chat up lines. Yeah, it's perfectly innocent this time. Definitely. What? Uh, I mean, it's perfectly innocent. <laughs> what? Now, listen, and, 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 Hannah looks amazing. By the end of today, you're going to have kissed her so many times, your lips will be eroded. Oh. Right, are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? Yeah, yeah. Here she is. <laughs> a vision of loveliness. Oh. A goddess. Hover, 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 and all that jazz. She scrubbed up proper good. Hannah, Hannah, please, 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 see your grow Ah, My answer is. Bam, bam, bam! No, no, no. You see, you see. I'll try that. I'll try that. It doesn't work. Oh, okay. okay. Please, see your grow -ups. Please. Oh. Then my answer will have to be, um... Will Hannah fall for a strong, jawed, muscular and handsome man like Deck? Or settle for a slab-faced loser like Ant? I'm standing right here, man. Oh, eh? All 
will be revealed in next week's charms. <laughs> Earlier on we asked you where were uh, last week's MTV awards held and of course the answer was Shaco! Those people knew it, those people have ran in. How did he play? I'll tell you, I've got a donkey here, he's gone on wonky, he's a donkey, he was wonky, he's a wonky donkey, you've got to tell us the animal. And what's up with it? What condition is it in? There you are, and got the rain. Can't be rain. Each caller gets 10 seconds. If you don't get it, it's the next caller. If nobody gets it, it's a rock and roll of a wonky donkey. Okay, let's take a look at this week's wonky donkey and, and have a good list. Have a good list. Okay, Declan? I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty. I feel pretty. I'm pretty. Hey! Right, there you go. <laughs> Could be one and all over. Uh, let's go over to line one. Jonathan Sturdy from Sunny Hall. Good morning. Hello. Good morning, how are you? my friend. And how are you? I'm fine. Good. Okay, then. Right. Here we go. What have you done? You've got ten seconds. What's that? DB. No. no. Um. B wee. No. Wee B. <laughs> what? B wee. B wee. No. No. Did you just say B wee, Jonathan? Yes. We've got no room for language like that on Saturday morning television. <laughs> Put the telephone down. On, uh, on line two, we've got Heather Watts from Leeds. Good morning, Heather. Hiya. Hiya. All right, then, we've got ten seconds. What is it? Busy B. No, Beautiful B, Beady B. Um, busy B. It doesn't Free rain. Busy uh, fluffy B. Fluffy B. <laughs> For goodness sake, Fluffy B. Did you stop and think about that before you came on the telephone? <laughs> Don't think you did. Line three is Kayleigh Wood from Berkeley. Good morning, Kayleigh. Fluffy B. Good morning, Kayleigh. Hello. Hello. All right then. Um, hold on. Hold on. It's got a rhyme. It's got a rhyme. It's got a rhyme. Okay, ten seconds. What is it? Fairy B. What? Fairy B. Um. <laughs> Don't make them, make them get you! <laughs> Furry B! <laughs> Furry B! Line four, we've got Furry. Richard Redshaw from, from Poynton. I'll say it again, it's got the rhyme. Good morning, Richard. Hi. Hi, okay, mate. Right. Richard knows the score. Come on, Richard. Right, you've got ten seconds. What is it? Sweet B. No. Pretty B. No. Beautiful B. Oh, man! Glee B. No! What? Beautiful B! <laughs> Where's he from? Uh, he's from Poynton. Ah, that explains it. Uh, line five, and the last call of the game is Diva D from Gloucestershire. Good morning, Diva. Hello. Is that, your, is it, is that right, Diva D? Yeah. Olivia. Oli <laughs> Does that look like a D? Yes. No. It doesn't look, that doesn't look like an O and an L. That looks like a D I D. <laughs> Diva D. Go on, Diva. <laughs> All right. Right, Diva. Diva, you got ten seconds. <laughs> you got ten seconds. What is it? Glee B. What? Glee B. No. no. Pretty B. No. no. Beautiful B. No. It's got a rhyme. Glee B. No. How many times do I have to say no for Glee? Me! Well, there you are. It's a rock and roll of Wonky Donkey next week. Nobody got it. Not even Diva D. She couldn't get it. <laughs> Such a shame. Uh, we'll have to find out who wins the prize next week. But right now, here uh, some top pop uh, with Action Man with Supreme. It's Mr. Robbie Williams. You must believe. You must believe. Me. There you go. That was the fantastic Robbie Williams there. Now, ring to win competition winners for the WWF tickets. We have Gemma Bates from SoCon Trent for the Madonna concert tickets. We've got Sophie Sheriff from West Sussex. So congratulations to you. Wow. Uh, thanks to all of our guests this morning, S Club 7, uh, the guys from Hollyoaks who are rushing off to do a signing on Oxford Street after yes. this. And they're off to sign the, uh, don't forget, Hollyoaks Monday, Wednesday and Thursday. And there's a special Hollyoaks, 11th of December, boys. Special Hollyoaks? Yeah. Yep. That's, That's right, isn't it? Yeah. Thanks for yes. coming down. And thank you to Caroline and ah. everybody. Yeah. And the funders will stop there because look who's over there. 
It's the CDK audience. Good morning, audience. We've got CDK coming up after the break. We've got Kylie Minogue on there. We've got loads of stuff. Please Sorry. do not go away. We'll see you after the break. You know where it's at.